Hi guys, this is Shivaradi. Welcome to the session on multithreading in Java. In this session, we are going to look at how to create a thread using the runnable interface. In the previous session, we have seen how to create a thread using the thread class. So in this session, we are going to see how to create a thread using the uh, runnable interface. So I am going to create a new class. Class name I am giving as my runnable and click finish here we need to uh, implement runnable interface runnable interface having the one method which is um, run method so we need to overwrite this method and we are going to provide a definition to it so in this what i am going to provide is int i equal to zero i less than 10 i plus plus and uh, system dot out dot print ln thread is thread dot current thread dot get name and i'm going to print the value also value is i as earlier i explained if we uh, don't provide any sleep so you really not see the context switch between the threads is happening so that is the reason what we are going to do is thread dot sleep we are going to say 100 milliseconds so this is going to throw the checked exception so we need to surround with the try and catch so that's all now my runnable class is ready now we are going to create an object for this class and we can create a thread so in order to execute i am going to create a main method in this class runnable demo is the main method it should it has the main method so i am clicking on the main method and click finish now what we need to do is we are going to create an objects for the my runnable class my runnable one equal to new my runnable and also my runnable two equal to new my runnable so i have created a two my runnable objects now what i'm going to do is thread one equal to new thread up so there it has a one constructor to take the runnable as an object as a for the constructor so i am going to use the constructor i am going to pass i am going to initialize the thread with the uh, runnable object so this is my second runnable object and these are the two threads so now what we are going to do is we need to start the thread thread one dot start and thread two dot start okay now we can run this program and see the output what it is comes is so run as java application sorry run as java application now you can see that um the if you see the output the context switch between the two threads it is happening first it is thread 0 thread 1 thread 0 thread 1 thread 0 thread 1 as we have um, we have given the sleep uh, sleep in the run method what it is going to do is every time when it prints the uh, value it is going to the thread is going to wait for the 100 milliseconds in the meantime the thread scheduler will give the opportunity to execute the second thread like that each thread it is the context switch between the two threads is, is happening this is the this is how you can um, you can create a thread by implementing the runnable interface so here couple of things still we can uh, look at it now uh, instead of now every time what we are doing is thread one dot start and thread two dot start now what is happening is when we call the thread one dot start it internally uh, it internally calling the run method of the uh, my runnable object or uh, runnable 
uh, the method which is inside in the runnable. So why can't we simply go ahead and uh, invoke the start method, uh, st run method instead of start? What happens? Now I am going to show what is the difference between when you invoke the start when you invoke the run. Now when you uh, when you invoke thread one dot start, the context switch between the two threads it is happening. But if you instead of start, you can directly call run. What happens? We'll see. Java application. If you see here, it considers as a only one thread. It is not considering as a these are the two threads. That is the thread is the main thread. It is considering as a main thread. And once the first thread it completes, then the second thread it has taken the uh, it has executed. That means if you execute the run method, uh, the thread class of the uh, using the thread object, if you are trying to execute the run method instead of the start, then JVM will not consider this as a uh, multiple threads. That is the reason context between the switches is not happening. But if you invoke thread one dot start, then it consider it will it is going to create a new thread and it will start the thread. And one more thing, what if if you are trying to um, start, you have started the thread. Now what happens if I start once again thread one dot start? What happens is you are trying to start the thread which is already started. Now it is going to say that illegal illegal thread state exception. So always you need to make sure that you always uh, call the start method instead of run. And also once thread is started, you cannot again start the thread. If you do so, then it will go, it will going to throw the exception illegal thread state exception. Now. The fundamental um, very important point here is that which one is better because Java is providing the option. There are two ways you can create a uh, thread in Java. One is thread class and another one is the runnable interface. So which one is better? So most of the uh, developers are the most of the programmers always uh, prefer the runnable uh, interface over the thread class. Why? Because Java by default does not support the multiple inheritance multiple inheritance which means one class is already extending the one class then you, you cannot extend any other classes that means now at the initial stages of your project you are thinking there is no other class which is going to extend so we have implemented the third class in later point of time if you have any uh, any enhancement to do uh, enhancement to extend any other class you have to extend then there is no chances that is the reason by default we always prefer the runnable interface and one more thing is instant is any uh, runnable is any interface so instantiation of the runnable is um, having a clear separation between the your code and the implementation of the threads in the case of thread class, what happens is when you extend a thread, then already complete functionality of the thread class is already uh, coming to your subclass and you can write your own. So that means you are actually combining the even though if there is no necessity of actually using the any other thread classes functionality because thread class having a lot of methods. You don't want you don't want all those methods. Still, what happens when you subclass a when you subclass, then automatically subclass will have the access to the all the methods of the threads. So that is the um, that is not the uh, way how we object oriented programming design. Because what object oriented program design says is, if we have any requirement as uh, like you are going to use the superclass uh, uh, functionality in the subclass then only you can go ahead and use that one but except to override the run method if you are not using anything uh, in the thread class then it is ideally there is no point of actually extending a thread because we already having a facility of runnable okay so and one more uh, the last and very important uh, concept here is that by extending the thread what happens is each of your threads has a unique object associated with it but when you are trying to implementing a runnable then 
many threads can share the same runnable interface. That means in the case of runnable, same instance, same object will be shared by the multiple threads. In the case of thread, each time you run the thread, it is going to create a unique object for it and it will be associated to that thread. So these are the basic um, differences and uh, uh, between the when to use the thread and runnable. But always preferable is going to be the runnable interface because it has the clean separation between the implementation and the, uh, and the code versus the actual implementation. And also Java does not support the multiple inheritance. So that is the reason you if you have any requirement like in your class is there any possibility of extending other than thread class if you want to try to extend anything the only one option is going to be runnable at the same time if you implement the runnable in future if you want to extend some more class there is a possibility hope you are clear with the concept of how to create a thread using the thread class and runnable interface and what if if you are trying to invoke uh, uh, thread.run instead of thread.start and what happens if I am trying to start the thread which is already started? Please, um, if you have any questions, please comment on my YouTube video and please do subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more technical videos from my end.